Hey, welcome back. It's been like two weeks since uh, we last talked and a ton of things have happened. This first is the Broken Eye Ranch stage and I just want to show you a few things here. So we're about uh, 28 inches off the ground. We've got our barn over here. They can climb up the ladder and there's a second story. Look through the window right there, all the railings there. We've got Slim's door and we got Stubby's door right here, a little drawbridge. We'll end up with curtains uh, there. Granny, slanty, shanty, some of you from old times sake, it doesn't have the slant all the way through but it gives you the idea. They'll be able to climb up uh, through the top and then there'll be a railing across there eventually. This is where all the juniors uh, do their skits, but it's also where all the juniors get to play. Not only that, we got the trap door and the kids can run underneath and play and, and all that sort of stuff. This is gonna be a huge addition this summer. This is the new picnic table that we're putting out at the bluffs. This is built for adults. Now kids obviously will enjoy it, but uh, two by 12s, two inch uh, steel underneath. We're able to build these for about 200 bucks a piece. We didn't have enough money to do all of them, but so far Bill, who's been uh, working on them, uh, he has raised over $725 for these picnic tables. We're hoping to be able to put 10 or 12 out uh, here in the next uh, couple of months. Okay, here we are on the backside of the dining room in the storage containers. They've already added stuff uh, to it. There's four of them right here. Uh, so they have moved all the storage from inside out here uh, to these uh, four different units. So we've got uh, each one unit. This one right here will actually take wood for the barbecue uh, that's out there. We still got to do a little bit of work uh, right here to bring this all together. Eventually another dining room uh, will be over there. A third dining room is smaller than our other ones. And then all of this storage, this takes you in over to the kitchen. So some of you are like, oh, this is a long ways away. What are they thinking? No, actually we just added a door right over here so they go from that storage area all the way in here into the kitchen so this opens right up to the pantry area storage area and the main kitchen area right over here just in 10 days we have seen a huge difference this started with just a foundation now we're completely dried in on the XL cabin come on in call this cabin the XL cabin. It's 10 feet high on the ceilings. We'll be able to sleep 14 people, king size bed uh, right here for all of our couples retreats. This cabin is a little bit different in several ways. The uh, recess lighting, two bathrooms, two showers. The showers are four by three. They're larger uh, than our standard showers. Also three sinks. So there's one restroom right here uh, with a kind of a barn door opening. So we can either have a one restroom cabin or if it's totally full, we'll open that up and have uh, two restrooms of Available. So restroom on this side, restroom on that side, bunks throughout. Uh, this should be online in the next six to eight months. Whistle stop. We did several things. We took out some of the whistle stop that's kind of old and decrepit, and uh, and got rid of that. And made this thing all set. But the big thing that we did is the paint. And wow, what a difference! This old 1880s box car is uh, painted red. Then the one that we made, the yellow one's done. The caboose still has a coat to put on it. We still got to do a lot of work on that, but we've gotten started. the lake unbelievable all the uh, progress that we've seen right here at the dock uh, this was the small dock now uh, it used to be a small dock now it's a medium-sized dock but this is gonna go all the way out there to the deep uh, part uh, then we've got on one side we'll have a basketball court on the other side a volleyball court you can kind of see the forms going in right here that are gonna give us a way that we can put sand on top of this on top of the clay so that it's level so as you play basketball and volleyball in the water it's gonna be uh, really cool. AstroTurf on top of this. There will be a like a rolling log eventually right there. Uh, right here a uh, little bit of a shade. Over here like a slide. That's kind of phase two. We'll get there eventually. One we're not sure about this year, maybe, maybe not, is over here a zip line. And that's like a not a harness yourself in, but just go a short ways across the lake and fall in right over there. On top of that, repainting all of the uh, all the events out here to make everything coordinated. It's going to be cool this summer. We're 
here at the bluffs and wow what a view just huge god's creation is massive reminds us that god is way bigger than any one of us this though is where we eat saturday breakfast and uh, they got the syrup and the coffee and all that stuff here i come through the buffet line they got all my pancakes right here we put in the wood uh, storage area did all the rock work uh, the crew was amazing and I uh, got this all finished off, little buffet right here. Then they'll be able to sit on those picnic tables we talked about right over there. And then we'll also have a place, a little fire ring there where they're told the final story that kind of brings everything together in a week of junior camp. This will be used very well this summer.